Well, for sharing us with us the information about poverty in uh, Northern Africa and about the, uh, the people who are suffering suffering there. The final group is uh, getting ready now. They're swapping out the microphone, so they'll be just a minute or so. Uh, they chose to study missionaries and orphanages because they are Christians and they are very strong in their faith and very strong and passionate in their faith. They also love kids and they wanted to help the orphans. They want to do these things to help the students know and tell the others about God. So I'm going to pass over to these girls in a minute who are going to share with you the action that they took and uh, the information that they found out. Let's give a round of applause for Joanne, Sylvia, Matea and Kelly.
First of all, they are Christian, and second, they help kids. We think Compassion International started because the people that started it were empathetic towards the kids. What did we do? Well, we sponsored a child through Compassion International. We were helped by our teacher, the elementary principal, and the elementary student life minister. The elementary school has donated money and we shall send it to our sponsor child. We raised 374,000 Korean won during the bake sale and we are donating 200,000 to the orphanage from the movie of just seen and 174,000 to this sponsor child. Why did we do it? We sponsor a child because we care for children and we, when we feel, and we feel empathetic towards children that are less fortunate than us. Also, we found Compassion International on the internet and we were very anxious and eager to help them. About our sponsor child. Our sponsor child's name is Mary Kawakwamba. She is four years old and lives in Uganda with her mother and two siblings. She lives in an area that, have been, that has been infected with AIDS and her mother is sometimes employed as a laborer. What can you do? Well, you can also sponsor a child from Compassion International, or you could donate to our sponsor child. If you would like to donate, please let us know after our presentation. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed our PowerPoint, and as you saw in our PowerPoint and our movie, we raised 375,000 Korean won during the action day and are giving 174,000 won to the, our sponsor child and the rest to the orphanage. Well, the stage is yours, Matea. Okay, so now we are going to express our understanding of the PYP with a play we have made. Ready and action. First of all, we will talk about our central idea. Taking positive action makes a difference. We will show you two examples. One of being positive about action and one of being negative about action. First of all, we will show you being negative about action. Hi, my name is Sylvia and I'm from Pinky Storch International School. And this is my school project and yeah. My friends just picked me a song, and I think it's called Bang Bang Bang. Just do it, whatever. Make up the lyrics and the lyrics, just do it. Music, cue, stand up. Open-minded, listening to each other's ideas, caring, caring for the kids at the 
the orphanage, communicators, teaching the orphans about Christianity in many different ways. For example, singing and dancing and chatting with them. IB learner attitudes, commitment, being committed to visit an orphanage, enthusiasm, being enthusiastic to the kids, empathy, feeling empathy for the kids at the orphanage. Next, we have our chance disciplinary skills. We have two chance disciplinary skills. The first one is responsibility, and the second is causation. First off, we will talk about responsibility. We will show you one example of being responsible and one example of not being responsible. First, watch an example of not being responsible. Oh no, I forgot to bring the costumes. Mom, you should have reminded me. But you are being responsible. Just whatever. <gasps> Okay, so for tomorrow, I need my journal, laptop, and homework. Got it all here. Oh, it's time to go! Next, we will talk about the causation of things. There are many reasons why kids become orphans. We will show you a short skit on uh, describing these reasons. What is up? <laughs> Did you see the news report about orphans? No. Well, it said it said it was it talked about stuff about orphans. Do you know why orphan why there are orphans and why orphans are sent to orphanages? Well, I think so. I think they go because their parents probably like died or something, or maybe they just got divorced or their parents didn't want their kid. You both are right, but divorcing or not wanting their kid is not a very common reason. Yeah, sometimes they aren't safe for their kids. And maybe their parents are in good condition, like maybe alcohol? Yes, and smoking. Stuff like that. So, bye. There are many reasons why kids become orphans these days. But we couldn't list all of them in this play. Now we challenge, now we challenge you to go help orphans. It could be donating money, clothes, or you could just go play with them. And remember, they will be wait they will always be waiting for someone like you to help them. Thank you. Thank you. So that's about it for our PYP play. I would like to wrap everything up with a story. It goes like this. In the beaches of California, there are lots and lots of starfish all over the sand. And do you know what happens to starfish if they are out by all man and not in the water? As some of you might know, they, they, die, they dry until they die. So a little boy was throwing the starfish one by one into the water so they won't die because of the dryness. Then, a man who was walking by stopped and looked at the boy. He said to the boy, Hey boy, there's so much starfish all over the sand. You can't do it to every single one of them. It won't make a big difference or anything. Besides, you're too young. The boy stood there and listened to the man. When the man was finished, he picked up a starfish. Then, he looked at the man and said to the man, I might be young. I might not be able to do this to every single one of them. And it may not make a big difference. But it truly matters. And it will make a huge difference to this particular starfish I am now saving. And through the starfish into the water. So my message here is, even though you did a small thing and you and the other people think it's nothing, the only thing that matters is that the fact that you have took action and you have made a difference. Now I challenge you today that after this presentation, you would go make a difference, big or small. Because like I said before, the only thing that matters is that the fact that you have took action and you have made a difference. And always remember, you can make a difference. Yeah, so that's it. And we would like to uh, thank our mentor, Ms. Lecce, for helping us for our exhibition. And Mr. Schumacher and Mr. Chan for 